Becoming an actor had to come naturally for someone with superstar parents, but Maude Apatow has made a name all on her own these past couple of years. How far is she willing to go for a role? Keep watching for more on Hollywood's new favorite Apatow. While Maude Apatow has become a successful actor in her own right, there's also no denying that her earliest screen appearances were the result of nepotism. Her first three screen credits were in films made by her dad. The Judd Apatow directed Knocked Up, Funny People, and This Is 40. In all three movies, Apatow and younger sister Iris played the daughters of characters portrayed by their real-life mom, Leslie Mann. Apatow shared in an interview with W Magazine, I was so little when my dad cast me in movies. I didn't even realize what was going on, but I knew that I liked it. No phone, no computer. This is BS. This is a bunch of effing S. You're acting like a B. Working with her mom on screen while her dad was behind the camera, she added, wound up becoming a part of her childhood that she didn't understand until much later was far from ordinary. Apatow once again worked with her dad in the 2020 comedy The King of Staten Island, portraying the younger sister of the movie's protagonist, played by Pete Davidson. She wasn't just given the role, however. Unlike those earlier experiences, she told Hello Giggles, she actually had to audition. In addition to projects directed by her father, Maude Apatow has built up an impressive reputation as an actor on her own. Her first adult role came at age 17 when she appeared in three episodes of Lena Dunham's hit comedy, Girls, a series produced by Judd Apatow. After that, Apatow appeared in films and TV series in which her father wasn't involved, beginning with the 2016 indie film, Other People, and then the 2018 action comedy, Assassination Nation. This was followed by a high-profile part in Ryan Murphy's Netflix miniseries, Hollywood. She then played fan-favorite character Lexi Howard alongside Zendaya on the acclaimed HBO drama series, Euphoria. Presumably based on the strength of that body of work, in 2021, Apatow was tapped to star in AMC's animated conspiracy drama, Pantheon. It was her role in Sam Levinson's Assassination Nation, in fact, that led her to be cast in the director's TV series, Euphoria. But landing the role was no walk in the park. Apatow told W Magazine that she auditioned six times before finally being cast in Euphoria, saying, We got along really, really well, and Sam had told me he was working on another show. Even though Maude Apatow has amassed an impressive roster of screen credits in film and television at a relatively young age, her original aspiration was to act on stage, not on screen. Interviewed by Vanity Fair, Apatow revealed, I actually got the acting bug from doing musicals in high school, like Cabaret and Into the Woods, so it always seemed like that's where I was headed. Of course, that's not how things turned out, with Apatow's career taking her in front of the camera and not on stage. Yet despite how much Apatow's Hollywood career has heated up in recent years, she admitted that performing in a Broadway musical remained a dream. Maybe one day, that's the goal, she told Vanity Fair, singling out Mama Rose in the musical Gypsy as a dream role she'd one day love to embody. Still, the experience of taking in live musical theater continues to inspire her creatively. She added that watching musicals always reminds her why she's acting. Maude Apatow's Twitter fame led to an opportunity that she considered to be one of the greatest of her young life, interviewing the members of British boy band One Direction for Teen Vogue. As the One Direction fan admitted in another interview with Teen Vogue, her nervousness was through the roof. She joked, I was so excited and shaking the whole time, so they might have picked up on that. In her original piece, she confessed that the timbre of her voice becomes very high when she becomes nervous, which was absolutely the case when she interviewed the singers. She wrote, My voice was so high that it was painful and embarrassing to listen to the tape of the interview. More than a decade later, Apatow appeared on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, where she reminisced about interviewing Harry Styles and the other 1D members. As she recalled, her excitement over meeting the group was marked with real terror. She admitted that it was the scariest thing in her life. In addition to her famous parents, Maude Apatow also looks to other successful women in Hollywood as a template for her own future. She told Teen Vogue when she was just 14, I really look up to Lena Dunham, who writes and directs her show. As she explained in an interview with Who, What, Where, Apatow grew up around Dunham while her dad produced the HBO series Girls, and she came to admire Dunham for her multifaceted role as both an actor and creative visionary on the show. In that same interview, Apatow also shared her admiration of Fleabag star and creator Phoebe Waller-Bridge, whom she described as the funniest, coolest person on the planet. Another name she mentioned was Olivia Wilde, known for her acting roles in such TV series as House and films like Tron Legacy, who segued into 
to directing with the 2019 comedy Booksmart. She noted, Wilde has gone from being a movie star to now directing. I think that's really cool. Given that her father is a famous Hollywood director and her mom is an actor with oodles of screen credits under her belt, it would be natural for Maude Apatow to seek advice from her parents when it comes to navigating the choppy waters of Tinseltown. According to her mom, that actually isn't the case. In an interview with Us Weekly, Mann said that it's hard to get her daughter to listen to her advice. Of course, Mann has also been quick to point out her daughter was born into a life of wealth and privilege that has shielded her from the kind of realities that Mann herself had to deal with as a struggling young actor trying to make a mark on Hollywood. As Mann admitted during an appearance on Good Morning America, her daughters definitely have a leg up in the industry. It's a little bit easier for them. Like when I started, mm -hmm. I was very poor and hungry. She sometimes hears her daughter complain about the difficulties of being an actor, which she has to dispute. And I think, oh, it's yeah. not hard. Oh, At no. least you have food in a refrigerator <laughs> and like nice that. sheets. You're fine. <laughs> According to Maude Apatow, she owes her first name to a famous cult movie and her parents' inside joke about it. Interviewed by W Magazine, Apatow confirmed that she's named after the elderly character played by Ruth Gordon in the 1971 comedy Harold and Maude. Apatow explained, My parents told me recently that they started calling me Maude when my mom was pregnant as a joke and then it stuck. And I was like, oh, that's kind of offensive, but okay. But I love that movie. I think it's one of my favorites ever. Given the influence that the cult classic and its iconic director Hal Ashby had on her father, the name is actually something of a badge of honor. Speaking at an Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences tribute to Ashby, Judd Apatow revealed that their shared love of Harold and Maude was one of the things that he and future wife Leslie Mann bonded over while they were dating. When he first met Mann, the director quipped, my wife let me know right away that she's watched that movie hundreds hundreds and hundreds of times, which I didn't know if I should be concerned about or not. Interviewed by Teen Vogue when she was just 14, Maude Apatow discussed some of the successful women in Hollywood whom she admired. Among them was director Sofia Coppola, and Apatow noted that she'd like to try her hand at directing in the future. Several years later, she told Who, What, Where that directing was still something she continued to aspire to. That ambition came to pass when she co-directed a short film, 2017's Don't Mind Alice, for which she also served as a writer and actor. She told W Magazine, so that was the greatest thing ever, and hopefully I can do more of that. If I could do directing, acting, and writing at the same time, that would be cool. Directing continues to be a future ambition. My goal is to become a director, she said in a 2019 interview with Collider. Noting that she's had some great mentors, she also credited her experience on Euphoria, in which she was able to watch the varying styles of different directors at work. She said, it's been really cool getting to see how everyone works so differently. Being the child of famous Hollywood parents has been something of a double-edged sword for Maude Apatow. While her parentage has opened doors, keeping those doors open has come with an increased degree of pressure and responsibility. She said in an interview with Who, What, Where, I know that people definitely see me as my parents' kid, so it's important to me to work twice as hard to prove myself. Citing the really good mentor-mentee relationship she has with her father, she credited him for knowing how to encourage her and what to teach her about acting, noting how lucky she is to work with him. While her parents have encouraged her acting ambitions since she was a child, they also insisted she graduate from high school before pursuing an acting career. However, Apatow told Collider, the second I graduated, I was like, let's go. I guess I always knew that I wanted to do this because I grew up around it, but I also couldn't imagine doing anything else. It wasn't even a question. Oh, crying? <laughs> a directorial note, you just take it and move on, okay? Maude Apatow has made no secret of her love for musical theater, something that bubbled to the surface in a season two episode of Euphoria. In that episode, Apatow's character, Lexi Howard, debuts the play that she wrote about her life and in which she also stars. As Apatow explained in an interview with Variety, the play within the show came about from a semi-collaboration with Euphoria creator Sam Levinson. Apatow admitted, it was loosely inspired by my high school play that I produced. Everyone in the theater department hated me, but I really wanted to do a good job. She added more details in an interview with Entertainment Weekly, revealing that the inspiration for the episode originated from her experience with that play during her senior year of high school. As Apatow explained, we had a student produced, directed, and written show, and I was the producer, and I was like a tyrant. Once she and Levinson discussed her recollections, she added, Sam went in and wrote it all.
Let it never be said that Maude Apatow isn't committed to the craft of acting. In fact, that level of dedication has been evident since her childhood, as she explained during an appearance on Late Night with Seth Meyers. Noting that she started doing theater when she was a kid, Apatow recalled that she pushed to be as real as possible with her work. As an example, she pointed to a school gold rush day when she was nine years old. In order to get into costume authentically, she had to do what only a nine-year-old could think of doing. I wanted to look like a miner, so I like ripped out my tooth. Seth Meyers then asked if the tooth had been loose, and she had to confess. Was uh, it a loose tooth? <laughs> it was not a loose tooth at all. Oh no! It was not ready to go, and I just ripped it out. After high school, Apatow went on to study theater at Northwestern University, but she decided to take a break. However, as she told Vanity Fair, before she was able to go back, she wound up being cast in Euphoria. She said, I wanted to make sure if I was leaving school to act that it was worth it, and Euphoria is unlike anything I've ever seen. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.